Okay, we're going to do biochemical testing for Clostridium perfringens. This is a gram, a large gram positive bacilli, and they call it um, that it has a boxcar shape, and it's beta hemolytic on Brucella blood auger plate, which is what we have here. So see all that? And here are the colonies. Um, they're, they're very spread out, oh my gosh. Look at that. It's like lakes of bacteria. They're just spread all over. That's why you can't really see them to take a picture because they're just spread out. See the sheen on there? That's all colony, woo! <laughs> that's exciting. Okay, so that's that. Um, there is no growth on either one of these, or is there? Nope, no growth. And growth on PEA, look, more of that spreading beautifulness. Look at that. Wow, they're huge. Okay. So, we're gonna do the catalase test um, first. So I'm gonna get my inoculation loop. Okay, shake it out. I'm shaking it off. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get some out of the heavy area. Sorry, you can't see that on film. And spread it on the slide. Okay, then we've got this from my lovely assistant over there and we're this is the hydrogen peroxide also known as h2o2 and there is no bubbling whatsoever i don't see any bubbles at all just to make sure that we did have organism in there i'm going to put some more Just to, it's hard to tell if I'm really getting it on there or not. And rub it around in there to see if that makes a difference. No, I don't see any, I don't really see any bubbles. I just see organism floating around. Oh, that was totally off camera. Okay. So that's that. Now we're going to do the indole. So we have our swab that we're getting ready. See? And we're going to put two to three drops of that, the spot indole reagent on there so we can just touch the colony. And, whoops and look for a color change after one to three minutes. So let's touch colony, we've got some on there and we're waiting for a purple color. All right, start the timer and we'll get back to you. All right, so this is indole negative and that's the end.